we are looking at a an article right now and what we're going to show you how to do is how do you add a product to the bottom of your blog post or to your article so I am using the debut theme and what we we'll want to do is go into our themes here and then in our debut theme I'm going to click on actions edit code now in here where we want to go is our sections and article template this is what we want because this is showing us what is what we're seeing when we're looking at an article and you can test that out if you want to test that out and say h1 hello save it refresh there you go so we know we're editing this page now I'm going to show you how to do it one way initially so first off how do you get to a particular product I'm going to do an assign blog prod just to say that's the blog product all products so the Shopify liquid objects you have access to this what's called a global variable called all products and let's just look for sundress control s so now when I save that let's go ahead and create our, our product or show our product on the page so I'm going to say if blog prod so if there is a sundress product I need to end my if statement and in here this is where I can say maybe I just do double space let's put in here HR for a horizontal and let's do image source let's just do let's just output the let's just output the image so we can say blog prod featured image and this is where you have to pass in that image URL parameter and let's just put 100 px it's going to be 100 x for the size all right now this isn't going to look the greatest because I'm not going to to show you uh, how to do a nice styled product that you see right here so I'm just going to do simple paragraph tags right here simple image tag so blog prod let's grab the URL of that so we what we want is what we're creating here is we are creating a link so that when you click on it it will link you to that product all right and we need to so this should be good I feel like I'm missing something here oh yeah there we go and then let's just let's just do the blog prod price this is going to give us how much that that product costs and I think that should be fine control s all right so we added just this additional piece of code right here and that's going to show us let me show you what that shows us if I refresh this is what we get right here so again it might not look the best you want to certainly style it to your liking but we have a product here if I click on sundress perfect it takes me to my sundress product now the problem with this is if we go to our blog right here is that it'll show sundress for every single article right which is something that you may or may not want let's make this a little bit more dynamic let me show you how you can build 
and show a particular product for that specific article so that if you click on this best books about photography article you'll get one product whichever product you want and then on this post article right here you'll get a different product so the first thing we're going to do is let's go into our Shopify admin panel here let's go into blog posts on the left hand side and click on best books about photography if we scroll down we're going to have a tag right here let's add a tag now what we're going to do is product sundress now where is this let's just add that first where is this coming from this little sundress right here well that is what's called a handle on your product let's just go to our products real quick let's leave page that's fine and if we scroll all the way down to sundress really any one of these products you have what's called a handle this is how you identify that product we scroll all the way down to the bottom edit website SEO on a product this is where you find the handle so this is unique for every single product and if we click on just anchor for example scroll all the way down here goes the handle right here so every one of these every single product has a unique what's called a handle how you identify that product so let's go into our blog posts and let's tag this article by calling it let's just say product so we're just defining that this is the the tag the beginning of it is called product underscore we're gonna name it product underscore and then again let's just click on sundress right here and save it now what we're going to do in our code here is we're going to find your product tags and grab that sundress out of it so that we can do if we look at our code now let's go back and look at our code click on themes here go and edit our debut theme instead of having our every single product be the sundress it's going to be based on that tag so we're going to get this value out of that tag now how do we do that let me show you I'm just going to leave that there for now and I'm going to do write some some code right here now that's how you do it anything between this right here in the middle that's code you can write your liquid code so I'm going to say for tag and article dot tag so if you look at the article object we have access to that it's going to list out it has this dot tags method that you can call this will return every single tag of that article now what we're doing here is a for loop so we're going to iterate over each one of those tags as we iterate over each tag we're assigning it to this value right here in our case we're calling it tag now let me end my my for statement first now we're going to say assign prod let's just say handle let's just give that let's go and extract that handle what this does right here this piece of code right here the split what it does is it essentially goes and finds a tag and oh and I should actually say one more thing I forgot a piece of code right here here's what we want if tag contains product underscore there you go then I'm going to do this so if that tag contains that product underscore in the front of it or really not just in the front of it but if it contains this product underscore exactly as that what we're going to do is we're going to take that tag and split it on underscore meaning that it should generate something that looks like this think of it as an array here product and that's what it's going to give us in our case let's just it's sundress oh, and that's going to go off the screen let me just show it right here make this a bit smaller 
it's going to give us return something like this. So when you do a split, it returns it in what's called an array here. You'll have product and then sundress. So our job is to, how do we grab sundress out of an array? Very simple. I'm going to create another assign, and this is going to be our blog prod, right? this variable right here. So we're going to say all products, just like what we did down below here, or, or, or up above. Now we're going to do that prod handle, and then I'm going to have another square bracket. So this square bracket, we're going to put in here one. This is how you grab that sundress out of that, that array right here. All right, now let's go ahead and remove this other blog prod since we don't need that anymore. Save it. Now what we're doing is we've assigned this all products right here, or we've retrieved that, that product handle based on the tag. We've assigned it to this blog prod right here. Now let's refresh and let's go into our best books about photography. I have to preview this again. And actually let's preview it. Let's preview it on the, the other page. Here we go. That way it actually opens up a new tab. Here we go. So now if we click on best books about photography, there goes our sundress. It still goes to the sundress product. If we go back to our post right here, we do not have that. Right? We have some comments, but we do not have that. So Let's go into that blog post, the post right here. Let's just do product anchor, right? Because the anchor, we know that anchor is the handle of the anchor product. So you have to select and make sure you're using an anchor when you're tagging it. Now Shopify is taking some time right here. Hopefully it makes that change soon. There you go. Product save, product anchor. Now if we refresh, there you have it. At the very bottom here, you have anchor. If we click on that, it goes to our anchor product. So we are on the post article. And let's go back to the best books about photography. We now see the sundress. So this is just a more dynamic solution, right? Instead of having sundress be shown across all of your articles, you can determine which product is shown here per article, which is really useful. And that's how you add products to your articles. Hello everyone. If you've enjoyed this video and are interested in learning more, head on over to universatheme.com. It's a full blown course that teaches you how to customize your Shopify themes whether you're a store owner or a developer. We'll show you how to build a navigation menus, how to filter your collection pages, how to customize your cart page, and so much more. You'll see you have a full-blown curriculum shown right here of what lessons are already there. So sign up today to become a Shopify theme pro.